Uh, hello to all. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's a very nice journey for me to be here with the, all the uh, great and the professional guys. Uh, before starting my presentation, uh, I would like to say this is my first time in a conference in a foreign country. Uh, so please forgive me if I make any mistake in the language and the grammar. Uh, I will try my best. Uh, my name is Aytunç. Uh, I am working. Uh, my agenda is who am I, who I work for, why we did our solution, what we did with our solution, uh, how we did, how we managed that, how does it work, an example, tricky points in our solutions, question and answers, and then we, I think we have the beer uh, session, I don't know. Who am I? I am just a man who loves computers and spent more, more time in my life between the computers. Uh, my responsibility is managing continuous integration in my company. Uh, what I do, I suggest things to people who are not available to do uh, deploy, compile things. Then I say, I, I have a tool, we have a tool that, which his name is Jenkins. Let's do, do what you want to with it. Also, I am responsible of version, version control applications. I am the administrator of, it, of them. Uh, Subversion, ClearCase, and the Team Foundation server. Uh, I am responsible of three of them. And my responsible is very new because uh, what we did with the GUI and the web automation is the test and system automation. Who I work for biggest GSM company in Turkey, biggest technology company in Turkey, have millions of users and uh, more than 1,000 of developers. And also have dozens of application and online solutions which are developed in home. Okay, uh, what was our topic is the web and the UI automation with the Jenkins. But why we did it? Because we have a mo motivation that we wanted to automate everything. Uh, before, before the meeting, uh, I found that this is the different way of, this, this is the different usage of Jenkins when you look into the continuous integration. Uh, we are using Jenkins for continuous integration also, but uh, we wanted to use Jenkins and its ability to do something different, which is so useful for the administrators, for the operators, for the developers, and for the testers. So our motivation was to automate everything. Why we did automate our test processes? Because uh, I was chit-chatting with my friends, with tester friends, and uh, they were talking about the simple and the continuous tasks that they are doing every day and every day before deploying a new version of the applications that in built in-house. So uh, I told them, why don't we automate? And they uh, said to me, we tried, but uh, applications we used was not enough, was not good enough to operate all the tasks that we in the web applications. And also they said that uh, we don't even try to automate GUI applications, Windows applications. So uh, I said to them, okay, I'm going to check or if I can find any solutions, I will email to you and we look together what we can do. Okay, so after why we did, we wanted to issue quality on testing because we are also using Jenkins for the deployment of the applications, compilations of the applications. So uh, we wanted to automate testing after the deploy of an application. So we always wanted to assure the quality that all the tests run in the previous version will run again in this version. So in all the versions, what is working is still is working. Also, we wanted to automate our tasks, uh, which means our operators and the administrators, because uh, we found that we are doing some tasks that are so elementary and so simple. And we are doing these tasks uh, in a day for 10 times or more than 20 times, like a 
creating a user, resetting a user, or, or just a simple task you already do. Also, we wanted to automate application monitoring. Uh, double check is always good. If you are a system administrator, you don't want your system to be go down. Also, you always want your monitoring application works fine and up. So we make some automations about uh, testing the applications. And uh, we put some more intelligence this test. So if the application, like Apache, uh, like IAS, doesn't matter, if it does not work, it also opens and starts the application server. If, if there is a solution in a simple logic, we can automate them also. Also, uh, last thing, automate alarm mechanism. Uh, we had some situations that uh, my, our servers went down and uh, we were expecting the alarm mechanism uh, to work, but uh, we found that alarm mechanism is also didn't work. So we created some automations which creates uh, fake alarms, then goes to the alarm application, monitoring application, checks if the alarm is occurred, then it closes the alarm and the uh, uh, delays the fake alarm. Okay, what we did, we put servers, we put operating systems, doesn't matter Linux, Windows, we put applications on them, I will tell the details which, which applications that we used, and also we made integrations between all the applications to solve this automation problem, and we called it Web and GUI Automation. So where is Jenkins? Jenkins is, the, is in the heart of this system because he uh, application, Jenkins, is the main console. All the jobs are made on, in Jenkins. Uh, all the other applications which is integrated to Jenkins trigger all the jobs. And also, uh, we are using Jenkins agent uh, to control other machines that we are running our automation tasks. What we did, uh, we have a terminal application which is uh, developed in C and C++ language. Uh, the, it was a basic task that creating a user. Uh, our system administrators were so bored of doing this, so we said that, yes, we can do that. Just tell us what is the flow, then wait. We create, create a new user task. We, did. Also, they set user password is also the same as the create new user. Check GSM cell connection. As a GSM company, we have so much applications. Uh, checking the uh, cells, uh, mobiles. There are lots of specific verbs that I don't know, but uh, I told them I'm just a new guy, so just tell me what should I do, what should I check. Uh, they have also given the flow to us, and then we developed the automate process. As I said before, create fake alarm and check. This is our monitoring application tasks. Also, we are checking web page availability. We have some web pages that are so important. Uh, we are checking the availability, the functions of the web application. Uh, and we put some more intelligence, this automation, and if we, any problem occurs, uh, automation goes and checks whether the application server is up or down, and if it is down, it starts the application server again. And also, run tests. What we did is more important, we created free time. Uh, because there are so elementary tasks, there are so simple tasks, which we are better off them. We, we are trying to pass them to the automation system. So we are, we are going to have more quality time for developing better things. Recipe, uh, for whom doesn't know the applications that we are uh, using for the automation process, uh, first one is, uh, Sikuli, it automates anything you see in the sequence. Uh, I don't know 
if you have a, ever heard of this application? Anyone who heard? Okay, not so much, but <laughs> I suggest you should look into them because it's a great application. Uh, first, I tried a demo in my computer. Uh, I was shocked and I told my friends, hey, come on, just see it. It's a great application. It works with image recognition to identify control view components. So uh, the basic meaning is, yeah. OK. OK. Oh, it's in my mouth, yeah. OK. <laughs> uh, it uses image recognition to end, uh, control GUI applications. That means it does same things you do in your computer. Because as a person, you look as a image recognition where you want to click or what you want to write, it do the same thing. So this is so simple. Development of this school is so simple. And also, you, uh, you can do everything you want to. So this is the, our recipe. Uh, first is SQL, SQL script for GUI automation. OK. The other one is Selenium. Uh, it is for the web applications. Uh, as we have GUI applications, UI applications in Windows uh, servers, also we have web applications which want, we want to automate. We want to test, so we are using Selenium. How we are using is uh, we, uh, it has a plugin for the Firefox. We record every task in the Firefox. Then we convert it to J, Java unit, J unit code, and we run it on the Jenkins again. OK. How we did? We put Jenkins in the center of the system. We used Jenkins agents on the Windows servers for SQL script because uh, it is the hardest point to automate some UI applications in the Windows environment. Uh, there are lots of session problems uh, because uh, Windows does not support these things, not good enough for these things. Uh, there are some tricky points that we made. I'm going to talk about them. But primarily is we are using Jenkins agent to run our automation scripts on the Windows servers. Also, we are using Jenkins agent on the other platforms, Linux, Windows, for the Selenium and Java unit testings. Also, we can make tests on uh, master Jenkins, but also we can run the test on the agents. If you want to change any platform, we move like that. The best part is uh, we integrated Jenkins with our service desk applications. This is the best part of it. As I said before, uh, we created a task which is very simple, creates a user in an application which is not a web application. So you should do it yourself. If you're an administrator, you should do it yourself. So if a person who is new in the company opens a ticket from the service desk, which is uh, Maximo is used, uh, this ticket goes to the service administrator. He looks into the ticket, gets the username, opens the applications, creates the user, and closes the ticket to, to the opener. So, the best part of it, we automated every process on that. A user comes to the company, new, new user, opens a ticket from on service desks, then this Maximo application triggers HPOO, HP Operation Orchestration. So this is the tricky point. After that, HP Operation Orchestration triggers Jenkins. With Jenkins, with the security, what we do, we do the same exact thing that the system administrators do. We open the application with the automation, with the security, we create the user, 
then we close the ticket. So, as you see, administrators and the operators and whom is responsible from this task is no longer is wasting time of it. It's a very simple task, and also it is automated now. Also, there's another solution that we take input from the direct user, from Jenkins UI. Uh, how is that working? As a administrators, as a system administrators, we do not want to uh, use service desk or anything. Uh, we are just logging into UI, my uh, Jenkins UI, and we are just triggering the build. Type one, as I said, user comes to the maximum service desk, open a ticket, maximum service desk triggers HP operation orchestration, HP operation orchestration triggers the Jenkins, which is uh, we are creating job for every single automation task uh, in a category of the service task, HPO knows which job to trigger, so it triggers the job, and then Jenkins runs the SQL script on the J agent machines, uh, on the Windows machines. If it's success, hold the process ends, and the ticket goes to the user. But if it fails, it goes to the administrator because there is something in the process, uh, maybe in the SQL or something, or the, in the Windows environment because uh, sometimes Windows uh, putting some silly pop-ups on the SQL. So uh, you should be aware of this. Also, you should be uh, you should develop your view script triggering these all days. And the second one is. We administrators go to the Jenkins UI administration page or the job page. We build with parameters or without parameters. Uh, then the SQL script works and do the GUI automation. Then it returns. If success, if fails. Tricky points. As a uh, Windows environment, it's so hard to take the GUI, the session, if you are disconnected from the server. Uh, as we are using RDP for the remote connection, uh, that there's a very tricky point uh, to use uh, SQL, to use GUI automation, to use UI automation, uh, while you are disconnected from the server. The tricky point is, uh, as you install the Jenkins agent, you should not use the Jenkins agent as a Windows service because it cannot, it cannot uh, react with the uh, desktop. It says, but it cannot. So the tricky point, first of all, is also the other tricky point is if you are disconnected from the server in an RDP, you are not able to uh, take the GUI. So what we do is we RDP to itself to the machine again. So if we look in that perspective, we have one user for the agent in a, ter in a terminal Windows server and end users for jobs. This is a tricky point. It is the only way that we could figure out how to uh, take the GUI and the run SQL scripts in the system. Uh, and also the other tricky point is using PS exec. Uh, using uh, remote commands to run the GUI's uh, UI scripts because uh, there's a tricky point that uh, a user RDP to itself on the same machine. It takes a session ID. Uh, in that session ID, your script must be run. So what we use, we use PS exec. We have some uh, tricky scripts that find the session ID of the user then uh, connect that session ID, then launch the secret on, the, on that session. Selenium, uh, we used Firefox plugin uh, because we, all the applications, all the web applications in-house is running on Intent Explorer, unfortunately. So uh, 
it's similar to Internet Explorer. Also, it, all the applications works on the Firefox. So we used Firefox plugin for the Selenium, and then we convert it to the JUnit. Also, we can trigger JUnit codes, JUnit binaries from the Jenkins. Uh, this is a video uh, I tried to record all of them in that one page. Uh, yes, this is the Jenkins, as you know. This is the Cam Studio, sorry for that. Uh, and this is the Windows Remote Machine, which is running Jenkins as a process. What is in that video? Uh, I am going to trigger this job with a parameter. Uh, as you will see in that Windows environment, a RDP session will occur, and it will start run securely and automate all the process. Uh, this is where I enter the parameter. Build is started. Uh, sorry for the bad video recording. It made RDP to itself. Open the web page, which is a uh, Citrix terminal page. Opens an, an application. Enters the name, the password. Uh, I assure you, this is automatic. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Nobody did that. It opens a Windows UI application. UI application. Uh, we tried to uh, automate these Windows applications by uh, Win32 objects exactly. I don't know, because I didn't understand all of them. Uh, that was also a big failure. Also, we uh, tried to automate Java applications with other solutions, but also we couldn't figure out them. So this is the best practice and the simplest practice that we had. So all you see, this is an, an Windows UI application which is written in C and C++. It is a terminal application. And also you'll see that Jenkins still waits for the process to stop. enters the password right now for the reset user. It resetted the password. Now it will close the application. Yes. Okay. This is a Windows. Uh, okay. It finished success. So, as you will see, uh, this is the solution that you can do everything with that. I tried to play Solitaire with that GUI automation, but a little bit hard, but I will figure out something. So this so also <laughs> funny tool that I think you should really look at it. There's another video, uh, which is the monitoring. Uh, I didn't put the Jenkins site because it gives a bad video. Uh, it also made RDP to itself. It checks a web page, which is not working right now. This is the Scully script, as you will see. It starts the Apache Tomcat but it didn't start it, so the script exists, returning minus one, telling the Jenkins that it failed. So 
An example, administrator monitoring the set user and all the other tasks. The solution is this. Uh, I went so fast. Do you have any questions and answers? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Uh, the question is why you are not running uh, Selenium and the SQLI from the HPO uh, because of the Windows environment. We couldn't find any solution. We tried at least one month. We couldn't find any solution triggering, uh, especially the UI automation from the HPO because uh, as HPO agent, it does not work like Jenkins agent. Also, I don't know how the Jenkins agent works, but uh, the Jenkins agent is the only solution that we could head RDP to itself and also uh, manage the other scripts under running the automation. Uh, it was the first uh, solution that we tried, but we couldn't find any solutions about that. So this is why. Yeah. We, we tried also that. Uh, we have uh, OO administrators uh, in companies, so we worked with them, and they said that they are not having any solution to run all the sickness because we tried everything, PSExec, other remote commands, uh, also the other agents that HPO is working, but uh, nothing has happened. Okay? Yes, uh, I can show you after the presentation. Yes. How you? Yeah. The plugin do that. Okay, I don't know how to do that because uh, there's. Yeah. Yes, I am using uh, Selenium plugin with Firefox. Uh, it was a chance that I found it converts to JUnit because I was trying to run the uh, Selenium code from the Jenkins, and then I found, oh, there's a convert to JUnit. Okay, then, convert to JUnit. So it worked, the best solution. Okay, uh, thank you very much. And before I leave the stage, I also want to thank you to community to accept my session. And uh, I will also ask at the end of the uh, day if you can give my, uh, some advice about the East Side to travel and see where should I go because I, I am here until tomorrow night. I don't want to sit in the hotel. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs>